Hi everybody, it's Mariah Balenciaga. And Raven. And welcome to another episode of RuPaul's Drag Race Fashion Photo Review. Ah! Hey y'all, it's me, Sugar Kane, here at DragCon LA. Don't forget to come and see me at DragCon New York City, bitch. I love you. <laughs> All right, this is a very exciting episode. We are going to dig back very, very, very deep and very far into the archives. We are gonna tune and boot the looks from the queen entrances of RuPaul's Drag Race All Stars. One! Oh my God, we've never done that. We get to look back at where drag was and how far it's come. And you were on that cycle of all stars. I was. Ooh, I can't wait to see what I think. Yeah, I already. I can already tell you that my look was a boot. Let's start with our very first queen of RuPaul's Drag Race All Stars season one, Miss Pandora Box. I love this. I do too. Pandora is so quirky. I love this. I love black and white. It's very hard to. Up. She looks good. I like the silhouette. A complete two for me. I love. I even love the fascinator. I don't care for the hair choice with this. I would have done something maybe up or more whenever sleek. There yes. Yeah. Whenever there's a fascinator, I feel it should either be on a turban, a bald head, on Gina, or on something that's more up in a way. Yeah. But and Pandy, I've never seen her in sleek hair, and I think that with this fascinator, she could have easily pulled it off. Yeah. But I love everything else. I wish the dress was a little longer, but it's still a two. Yeah. It's a two. I give it a two. I like it. I love two. it. I want some more of it. Complete two. two. The one, and thankfully the only one, <laughs> Miss Mimi on first. She looked like she lost a little weight for all stars. She did. And she, she honestly, stanched. her body, her shape, everything was great. As much as I want to You're not going boot to. her, this is a two for me. I like the silhouette. I like the hair choice. She looks good. I just don't like the shoe. I don't like the shoe, but the overall look for me is a two. And I love a lacy type of a dress over like a nude illusion. And I am a fan of wearing a corset on the outside, bitch. Yeah. I, oh, I love no, it. I couldn't tell. Because I'm not wearing one. <laughs> I give it a two. It's a two. Up next, ah, queen of the people, Miss Latrice. Royale. You know what? For All Stars 1, it's a little underwhelming because after we've gone on to Drag Race, it's just like you want to elevate and take things to a bigger, higher level. To me, I think it's beautiful, but it's just beautiful. It's nice. It's nice. It's nice. Yeah. I, I love her makeup in this and I love her hair. Mm -hmm. um, for me, I'm missing like rhinestones or some sparkly. I'm missing the va va -vo. To me, yeah. this is like very si like sickening everyday woman, but for all stars. She's an all-star everyday yeah. woman. That's a boot. Boop. Manila oh. Luzon, two. Oh, my pineapple, two. my pineapple nemesis. It's a complete two. This is one of the first, if not the first conceptual girl on Drag Race. And well, I think the first to do things in this type of uh, conceptualizing this way, because I think there are a lot of queens who have been conceptual that have put things to get like Nina Flowers. I think, yes. I, I do think that there are, are queens who have conceptualized. She's the one who took it to more of the campy. The literal. Uh, the waka waka yeah. waka type of a thing. This is a two. Complete two. This is. A Harpo? Who this woman? Yeah, you know who that is. And I will say this dress was sequined. It had some stones on it, um, but girl, of course stones don't read in photos. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna tell you right now, this is wrong. I ain't right for that. And I walked into the workroom of RuPaul's Drag Race All Stars 1 in that. Nothing fabulous. I'm not mad at you, I'm mad at the skirt. I'm mad at, <laughs> that's a good one. It was a dress, a cocktail dress for a cocktail party and not the workroom entrance of RuPaul's Drag Race All Stars. That is fine. It's fine. <laughs> it's a boot. <laughs> it's a boot. I, I, I must commend you for wearing the mousy brown Bob Gilda. <laughs> like, you really committed to it. Girl, that was my hair for a second. Oh, the mall fashion queen herself, Miss Juju B. Nobody can go wrong with a wrap dress 
But this is the workroom first looks of All Stars season one. And a wrap dress is great for going to the mall. It's great for PTA meetings. Not Drag Race All Stars one. I love the red hair. I love the red hair. Her shape is always gonna be on point. Mm -hmm. Her shoes are slaying you. Mm -hmm. But overall, I must say, if I'm holding Latrice to a fashion forward and elevated look, and I booted Latrice, this has gotta get a boot. A boot. Oh God, I'm getting so much hate now. Now here Chanel. we go. Season one, original, OG. Chanel. She gets a toot. There are times, there are times when Chanel puts things on that you're kind of like, girl. Needs to edit. But this, I think, is beautiful. And there's not much editing. Of course, there's a tail on it. There's a tail. I never even clocked the tail. Everything else about it is beautiful. She doesn't have a huge choker on, a bunch of, like, you know, it's earrings, her hair loaf, which she loves, and a beautiful gown, which apparently she said, was from the Beauty and the Beast play, and the Beast wore this, and she had it tailored into a gown. Oh, okay, I love a good backstory to a costume. Yeah. She looks great in it, her shape is amazing. I make makeup flawless. Two. Chad Michaels, the winner of All Stars 1. Now, we know with Chad Michaels, her share fashions are always on 10, always perfection. But this one right here, my, I, I'm confused. My eyes are going too many places, too many patterns. I respectfully boot. I'd say I like it. <laughs> I give it a two. I like that it's this weird, is, was it candy all over her? I, I It's like this weird, um, like, candy with stripes and then the gold accents. I like it, I, I give it a toot. And another story, <laughs> this hair that she's wearing was actually the hair Morgan wore into the uh, workroom on season two. Shut up. Come on, back story. You know. mm. Yeah. Uh, no, I, lo I, I liked this look. Alexis Mateo. I would not have worn the face piece. I see where she was doing it to tie in the outfit mm -hmm. with the lace, I get it. But she didn't need it. Her makeup was lovely. She looked beautiful. And sometimes I say like, Was it? I think so. Okay. Yeah. I'm here for it. And then I like a little stretch lace cat suit number. With a corset and a thigh high boot. With a corset and a thigh high um, boot. It's a classic. That's a classic, so that's a classic. It is. I'm having a rough time with this one. I wish it would have been more stoned. It could have done without the belt. Yeah. It, the belt is hanging way, too, like, it's like too low. The Instead belt is giving it a weird thing. I don't know, it's, I'm gonna boot it. I give it a boot. It's a boot. I have to say, I'm gonna boot this. I've done this look and I've done it better, so it's like. Dang, sis. Oh, I did, I have. You do. She does. She it's my ballroom days, and it was like one of my go-to looks. Um, Okay, it's gonna have to be a boot. It's a boot. Oh, the original wild child. We have Miss Yada Sophia! I love this look. She's always been such a creative mind when it comes to not only what she comes up with, but the materials she uses to execute the looks. Mm -hmm. It's always unconventional materials, yeah. Two. It's a two. Now, here's here's another little story. Oh, the morning we were filming our walk-ins, uh -huh. we were in rooms holding, waiting to like enter the room. Yes, we do. And I hear just chain link. <laughs> just sure enough, in walks Yara. And I'm thinking, what a f headache for the sound people who are listening to her wearing chains all day. But I give it up to this bitch. Tammy Brown, Tootsie Ooh. Lou. Hey, Tootsie Lou. Now this bitch has not stopped. I wonder how many steps she has counted on her Fitbit. Cause the bitch has not stopped walking the children. The children in nature. And when she had, she when she steps out on stage, she ju just, it, and she does, she doesn't do the, the regular album or radio version of the song. She does like the 12 inch maxi single, like, 18 minute long version of the song and she's out there the whole time just doing the damn thing. I love Tammy Brown, but I don't like this outfit. Yeah, this is it's very pedestrian. It's almost giving me like the instructor at a line dance. 
Okay. Like, you're like you know, she'd be that that quirky person that's teaching the line tan the line dance at the local. She's bar. telling the you to grab your partner and do si do do si do and all that. Yeah, I get Love it. Love Tammy Brown, but we're gonna have to boot this one. It's a boot. Nina Flowers. Um, Nina Mother Flowers. Uh, it's a two. I give it a two. Now, the jewelry, of course, it could be a different shade. She doesn't have boobs in, but this look, it goes. I love it. She looks like she'd be Rainbow Bright's edgy aunt. Yes, the one that like parties with her. Yeah. I like that. I'm, and she's sassy. Mm, you are really loving sassy this season, huh? I love sassy. I myself am sassy. Okay, girl. Well, this, <laughs> this is getting a two. I love it. It makes sense. She's the queen of the, the rave party. She's DJ Nita Mother Flowers. Trend alert! Black lace. Mm. Not black velvet, black lace. Not black beauty, black lace. Black lace. Black lace, black lace. All over my, my face. face. Our top two of the week is Chanel. Chanel. You better work, beauty and the beast. Chanel, number one. <laughs> Chanel, number one. She's Chanel and she and wears costumes. costumes. And don't forget, RuPaul's Drag Race All-Stars Season 1 is available on WOW Presents Plus. Check the link below to see if it's available in your territory. I'm not mad at you, I'm mad at the skirt.